So I'm here in my Firebird, as you can tell, and uh, yeah, I gotta swap a couple things out in this car. So, the last few years I've had a few issues with this steering column, and it finally just completely gave out. I've I fixed it a few times. The um, ignition, I don't know what you call it, little cam gear thing that got bent and my tilt was loose and I just, I've had so many problems with this and now you can see the bearings are all gone. You can actually see on the floor mat here, um, yeah, these are all the, the ball bearings here that fell out, so. This column's, uh, this column's pretty much done. Um, you know, like I said, I've had so many problems with this. I've had this column apart the last few years, probably, honestly, 15 times. So, there's bolts in here. There's bolts in here, you know, that are stripped. Like, these are all stripped, and then these ones in there that hold this whole cover on, that's all stripped, and just, it's just a nightmare. So, um, I actually did find a new column. Now this car is an 83, and if you don't know, um, the columns are eight, I don't know the exact year ranges, but I know 82, 83 are specific um, because of the wiring and that. So it took me literally three years to find another column out of an 83. Also, once I get the column out, my brake pedal, as you can see, it's got a lot of play too. The bushings are gone. Um, this does still have the manual pedals. Obviously there's nothing in the clutch pedal because uh, it's a power glide now. But I actually found a, a really tight um, automatic brake pedal. So I'm going to be swapping that in uh, as well. Easy to, easier to do when the column's out of the way. So... Yeah, let's uh, get this started. Because <laughs> I can't even drive the car like this, obviously. Like, it's just so to drop these columns, it's actually not that hard. Um, you can see right there, there's a nut right there. I already got that one off. Just got to continue popping that one off. And then there's three bolts right there. One, two, three on the firewall one bolt under the hood and that's it just unplug it and it can be uh, dropped out so I'm gonna get uh, these three on the firewall out and I already got the one under the hood out I'll show you that and then that's that's it I'll finish that nut up there and then do some unplugging those two out so do this one are 10 mil too so get this out okay and there is three out so now I'll continue getting this one up here out it's got to lift up on the column there we go and uh, columns dropped so I can undo all the wiring now and then uh, pull her out. Steering column out. So now I'm working on this brake pedal. I got the clip off for the brake rod. Got the nuts off. So these are uh, 15 millimeter. And now there's another one right up in there. And then this whole brake pedal assembly can just pop out. Okay, this bolt is a 13. So, of course, different size make it just a little more difficult. But, almost out. she is so now don't lose that we gotta unplug the brake uh, tail light sensor thing here and then 
this should pop out. Okay, there's the brake pedals out, so all I have to swap over is just the little uh, sensor here. Put it in there, and then I'm good to go. So, yeah, you can see the the bushings are just gone in this one. Um, this one, everything's still really tight, so. And I don't really need the, the clutch pedal anymore right now. Anyway, I'm going to keep these, but put them off to the side. I do actually have um, new bushings to rebuild this one. And we'll just put the normal pedal up in there for now. Wow. Oh, yeah. I also forgot to mention steering column. There is a cable if your car is automatic. So it goes all up into your shifter. I don't have a stock shifter. So basically, I just ended up uh, years ago when I put this in and when the car was four speed and all that. Um, just tape the end of this shut so it's always closed in and then the car will start so I'm gonna have to do that again luckily I was able to just slip it through the console because it wasn't hooked up to anything in there and I didn't have to uh, take any of this apart because this shift is kind of a pain to get taken apart so yeah. well, I got the brake pedal hanging quick I'm just gonna squirt some paint on it mainly just in this rod part you see it i just it doesn't have to be anything fancy i'm just squirting some flat black on it just so it's not you know rusty um all this is fine you don't see it or anything and i don't want to risk putting paint on something and you know bushing get caught up or whatever so just the part you see you know right from that line where it was painted before i'm just going to squirt a little black on it yeah just like that i just squirted a little bit of black on it mainly in this area just looks better than rusty color so i'll let that dry and then i can throw it in the car okay i'm just comparing um steering columns here everything looks the same except one thing so on this plug here on my old column you see it has pink black gray purple green on this new column it has all that except the green so I took my old column apart I traced it and it goes into the um, signal and wiper controls so I have no idea what that green wire is for I hope I hope I don't need it because I don't have it and I really don't feel like taking this column apart to swap out this plug like I can if I have to but it's a, it's a nightmare like this column's good and tight i don't want to mess with it so i don't know i'll try plugging this in we'll see what happens hopefully everything works hopefully it's just something stupid with the wipers i i mean i've only used the wipers maybe once in this car in the last five years so um yeah hopefully it's just something with that i don't need because yeah See, I notice mine has the mist thing. It goes like, you know, that turns. This one, the mist, it doesn't. The whole thing turns. So, maybe that's different. I have no idea. I'll have to just plug it in and see. Brake pedal's bolted in now. Got those four. Got the one up there. Just got to connect the rod and then um, do the plug. So, this is what I used. So, I used two six inch and two two inch extensions to get at these bolts so that way when you're on them you know you don't have to fight with anything and you're out of the dash and all that so I'll get that finished up and then attempt to put this steering column in the fun part and here's the hard part where you need two people so this is the shaft on the steering on the car and then column comes through there so you gotta get that lined up with this which just flops around so basically now I gotta wait until I don't know I somehow get help so yeah I'll do this once I get help and then I can get the column buttoned up
Okay, well I jumped ahead a bit because it's starting to get dark. So, got the brake pedal all fully installed. Steering column, I just have to tighten these two uh, nuts up here, but everything's plugged in. And the bolts down there are in. And I got help to do the bolt under the hood. So I just gotta tighten that up too. And then we should be good, so. Yeah, I'll have a tight brake pedal and a tight steering column, finally. One thing too, this cable, I did um, tape it up again. I pushed it down as far as it will go and then just taped it up. So I can get this tucked back into the console, get all this wiring tucked back and zip tied and all these covers can go back on, but I'm gonna wait until I get the battery in the car and Make sure everything works. Well, I jumped ahead a bit. I got everything back together under the dash there. And got my wheel back on. I did throw the battery in. I tried it the other day. And um, everything works except one thing. So let's go ahead. Hasn't been started in a few days. So this will be kind of a cold start, I guess, too. I don't have the choke hooked up in this car either. she's idling um so as you can tell the ignition stuff works it turns on and off shuts the car off and on signals they work as you can see the only thing that doesn't work is the wipers so i got no wipers at all um it's probably from that uh the wiper switch has that one extra wire on my old column than this one so Realistically, all I have to do is just um, pop the wheel off again, take the column apart a little bit, swap out the, the whole wiper switch, and then it'll be good to go. But I'm, I'm honestly not worried about that right now. I can do that down the road. I, <laughs> in 15 years, I've maybe drove this car twice in the rain, and that's because I got caught in the rain. I don't drive it in the rain, so obviously, especially now with the with the scoop sticking through the hood and shit so yeah we're good to go super tight there's no play in this steering at all so i'm really happy with that now i can actually drive it the brake pedal too there's no movement so we're good we are good now so i don't have to worry about this stuff when i'm uh cruising around this summer so now i gotta take the car wash it and just you know clean the uh, ever-living crap out of it. So, you can see. Shuts off. Fires right up. So, perfect.